Greenberg wants you for the SEA next year. Liz reports on Operation CAM. Jake asks students how they feel with the COVID vaccine. So stay tuned! Good morning everyone, I'm Nick. And I'm Carter. Today is May 24th, 2021. After suffering the devastating loss of a friend, one dedicated student has founded a club in his memory. A brand new club with a very impactful and inspiring mission has arrived at Smithfield High School called Operation Cam. I don't know if many of you knew him, but there was a student that went here named Karen Robertson, and he was a sophomore in my class. He was a really close friend of mine, and he recently passed away. And he really was interested in the medical field and he really wanted to help people. And I'm really trying to keep his memory going because all he wanted to do is help people go to college for it. And I know a lot of people were hit really hard with this. And we reached out to his family and they're super supportive. And we're really just hoping that through this, we're able to keep those healthy relationships and help people mentally. Operation CAM is a club in which students at Smithfield High have the opportunity to send generalized letters and activities to kids who are patients at hospitals such as CHKD that are going through a really tough time right now because there's a really big disconnection between people having conversations and forming relationships because those who are already isolated due to long-term care in a hospital, they're able to have that outreach to be able to have that connection between students here at Smithfield High School. As of now, Operation CAM is preparing to begin with a kickoff to the summer. As time goes on, they will also plan holiday-themed activities and letters to be sent to the hospitals and other organizations they partner with. We're going to have our contact information available. Sponsor Mr. Wilson, who is an English teacher, and then my email. If you're interested in sending a letter, then make sure to contact us and we can tell you more information. What do you think Cameron would have thought of the club Operation CAM? He really was passionate about being able to help people in need and this continues his memory so I think that if he were able to hear about this or if this was a present thing when he was still with us he definitely would have taken part in this. If you're interested in supporting Operation CAM please see Mr. Wilson in room 7. The last day of school will be here before you know it. Here's information on when to return your laptop. So you hear about the new Fire Emblem game I love? No, what is it? It's the best game ever. I just love it so much. Well, I would get like so many clothes of it. Well, that kind of sucks because we have to turn on our laptops. Yeah, I know. Sucks. Ugh. Hey Emma, hey Jamie. Are y'all here to turn your laptops in? Yep. Yes ma'am. Great. So glad. Get this done. because we're great, responsible students. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, bro dude. What's going on, bro dude? Aren't you supposed to be coming to your computer? What? I don't need to do that. Come I need on. my computer for the summer. Bro dude, if you don't turn it in, it's your mom going to pay a bill. A bill? Can't be that much. hundred dollars? Yes, bro, dude. Oh, gosh. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Well, I guess I need to turn my computer in. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. Stop by the library if you have any questions. Since next year will be a normal school year, we want to make it as special as possible. And you can help by joining SCA. We plan homecoming and other events. Check out SCA's Instagram at smithfield underscore SCA for more information on how to join and what we do. If you have any questions, see Ms. Greenberg in room 10. Now, to JROTC, whose spring blood drive was a huge success. They collected 123 pints of blood this school year. Seniors who donated more than three times can wear a red cord at graduation. The JROTC program is also proud of its rifle team, which was the number one Army JROTC rifle team in Virginia. They placed fifth out of 42 schools in a national competition. Have you gotten your COVID vaccine yet, Carter? No, I haven't. But let's turn more to Jake about information on student eligibility. Now that all high schoolers are eligible to get the COVID-19 vaccine, students are weighing whether or not to get the shot. For Junior Jacob Day, 
getting the vaccine is not top priority. I, honestly, I don't even want the vaccine because I don't think it, I don't think that I need it. About it, because I'm young. I don't really have to worry about those things. I don't have to worry about having a heart attack or seizure. While sophomore Robbie Kurowski plans to get the vaccine, he has concerns about how effective it is. Vaccine. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm about to get it pretty soon. Um, some people I know can't get it. You know, I think it should be tested a little bit more before they, like, do widespread because there's been rumors about stuff, and they might not be true. Junior Joshua Kenner, however, believes that the more people who get the vaccine, the safer everyone else is. Well, first off, they'll ask you a few questions if you're allergic to some of the medications that are in like the, the vaccine. Um, I wasn't allergic to any of them. They have you sit down for 15 minutes after the shot. I didn't have a reaction personally, but I've heard other people had a reaction. Some got like sick and dizzy or whatever. But I think my side effects started kicking in the second day after the shot. Cause I woke up and I was like, I had a dry throat. My eyes, they were itchy. And like, I just felt exhausted. Nurse Gilliford believes that the benefits of the vaccine outweigh the risk. Vaccine. I would say get it because your chances of getting sick, getting in the hospital, and then dying are way more than any um, side effects from the vaccine. Sounds like things will be back to normal soon. Seniors were able to visit their previous elementary schools in their cap and gown. Thanks for watching. See you next year. Before we go, we would like to say a special goodbye to our retiring teachers. Thanks for your hard work and dedication throughout your many years here. This is our last new show for this school year. So tune in next year to stay in the know.